Everyone, we made it. We reached the end of 2020, and more importantly, we've reached Sasuke 38. What a way to end the year than with a brand new Sasuke tournament. Will we have a Kazen Seiha, a total victory, to end this incredibly notable year? I don't know. They surprisingly the the advertising has been very non spoilery. There there's very there's been no footage of stage three, um almost no footage of stage two, um, outside of one shot of the rolling log in stage two, which is the first obstacle, and that person on the rolling log could be anyone, as far as I'm concerned. And even not a lot of shots of people on stage one. So it's very, uh, they're being very hush-hush, which honestly is not like them for the advertising for the show. So, for those of you uh, curious, the uh, Navi just recently aired. Uh, by the time this video goes live, it would, be, it would have aired yesterday. And uh, I watched the whole thing. It was, uh, I think, including commercials, about two hours in length. And uh, one thing that I was pleasantly surprised of is that they really, like, focused on everyone. Um, everyone um, had, they, they showed photos of everyone who had uh, competed, uh, all 100 people, and in addition, um, everyone who really should get a feature got featured, whether it's a notable competitor or some sort of a celebrity person. Um, they all got featured, and it was nice. It, it was nice to see. Um, of course, you got Torsawa right in the beginning of stage one. We're going to get to see his uh, run. Can't believe this is his 20th time competing. Like, holy cow. He's, he's been a staple for so long. Uh, we get to see the return of Karen again, which uh, I'm looking forward to. Um, she, I've seen her compete in a couple other shows this past year and do well, so... We got to see if she improves in any way. And um, one of the unfortunate things is that due to the pandemic, uh, no one uh, could travel into Japan to compete in the show. So uh, Renee Cassidy, uh did not get to compete. Uh, hopefully, uh, once things get back to normal and people can fly in normally and all that, uh, he'll be able to uh, try Sasuke again. And in addition, uh, thankfully, uh, Tetsuya Tara, who is the other person to uh, com uh, reach the final stage last time, uh, gets uh, is back. And this time he's number 95, so he gets a much higher number this time around, thankfully, because he deserves it. Uh, this is, what is this, his seventh time competing. Uh, perhaps one of the biggest stories heading into this Sasuke is the return of of Makoto Nagano and Katsumi Yamada. Nagano is back after retiring back in Sasuke 32. He makes a return and uh, one of the reasons that was given is that due to the pandemic they want he wanted to give people something people something for people to be happy about uh, and to look forward to. Look a little bit of hope. So he has come out of retirement specifically for the people and I am so happy. I think he can beat stage one. I think he can do it. I honestly, the guy looks like he's in incredible shape. He's been keeping up his physique ever since uh, complete, you know, uh, retiring from Sasuke. And it's like the last time he competed, he just missed clearing stage one. And it was honestly very heartbreaking. And if he can clear stage one this time around, I will be so incredibly happy to see it. Uh, Katsumi Yamada, like I said, is also back. Um, I uh, They gave so much time focused uh, to Yamada. Um, they had this uh, documentary um, that they put online. They put the entire thing in, in the Navi and Oh my goodness, I I'm still surprised at like all the uh, attention that Yamada gets these days uh, from Sasuke. You know, it's been... When was the last time he cleared stage one? Was it like Sasuke 12? I think? Maybe? This is Sasuke 38. It's, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, I've, I've gone... I've given up 
I've long given up on any hope of seeing uh, him on a clear stage one again. Um, you know, but for the people who like him, I'm sure they'll be happy to see him. So good for him getting to uh, compete. Um, uh, so this is actually the uh, first time in a while that we have four All-Stars competing because both ya uh, Shingo Yamamoto and the return of Toshihiro uh, Takada, they are both competing as well. Numbers 86 and 87, respectfully. Uh, Takada had to sit the last one out due to injury with his shoulder. Um, honestly, like last year, I was under the impression that Shingo could clear stage one as long as he doesn't make a silly mistake. And I still maintain that I think he can do it. Honestly, I think Takeda, Takeda can do it too. I think they can both clear. I, honestly, I think we can still have three uh, All-Stars clear stage one. Um, UG is number 99. Morimoto is number 100, which is uh, the right choice, uh, especially given their uh, history and their previous performances. Uh, I think Morimoto is not going to make the same mistake that he made last time. Uh, he made, you know, he, he, he just, I don't know, I don't know what happened. You know, it happens though. You know, sometimes you just don't clear stage one and, and mistakes are made, you know? So I think he's going to avoid that mistake. I have a feeling we're going to see the final stage again. I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, seeing Yuji do so well last time brings a lot of hope to me. I think he can do well again. I don't see why not. I'm hoping that we get to see Kenji Darvish uh, back in Stage 3. Uh, he is by far one of the, the best performing celebrities uh, in recent memory of Sasuke. And I think he did uh, rather well in the past. I want to see him do well again. And uh, we got plenty of other high-ranking people. Um, just to uh, rank, say, some of the other names we got here. Jun Sato is returning, as well as Tomohiro Kawaguchi. They're both perfectly capable of getting to the third stage, and maybe even further. Who knows? I don't. And uh, just looking at this, it's like, you know what? I think I think this is going to be a good tournament. As for the st uh, this courses themselves, um, I haven't been looking super hard into like the actual... Uh, design of all the courses. I think stage three, from what I could see, it seems pretty much the same. Um, stage one might have a change to it. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see. Um, stage two is a giant mystery. The biggest mystery is will they keep the backstream? Because here's the thing. So one of the things that they showed in the Navi was that the crew was sanitizing the course. They showed them sanitizing the course. And my question is, how do you sanitize the backstream? It's a giant pool of water. You know, if a competitor spit, it's just going into the pool and stuff. Now, granted, everyone who competed on Sasuke had to take a COVID test and had to pass a COVID test. Um, but at the same time, if you're trying to be safe and, and be sanitary, how can you do that with the backstream? And so if it turns out that the backstream gets removed, then uh, it would officially be the best thing COVID ever did, quite frankly, if we can get rid of that stupid backstream. <laughs> um, in addition, um, I'm interested in seeing how uh, the production is going to feel because... Uh, there's no audience. There's going to be some, you know, people on the sidelines, some other competitors, maybe some staff, but there's no traditional audience that they've had in the past for stage one. And, you know, stages two and three and stuff, they've, they've had limited audiences at times, so it's not going to be that big of a difference. But stage one is going to be, it's going to feel different just because of there's less people. It's going to be a more, it's going to be more emptiness, you know? So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how that airs on television. Um, and one of the things that I'll mention is that I'm really not a fan of these um, clear masks that I, I see people wearing. It's like, yeah, you can see your face, but I don't know how well that does at covering, uh, covering you up and like, you know, potentially stopping the spread of germs. So, 
Yeah, I have my dad on that. I've seen that in um, a bunch of Japanese productions as well as other productions um, outside of Japan as well, um, as well as uh, people outside of Japan, where, uh, well, people near me wearing uh, those types of masks. And um, I'm not convinced that those are uh, super safe, you know? Um, I like to see um, uh, Ryochi uh, Tsukuda, A-B-C-Z, uh, do well. Um, he's he's been stage one in the past. Uh, they 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 hyped up uh, the three guys from the Rampage from Exile Tribe, and I don't know. I like to see. Honestly, at the end of the day, I just like to see everyone do well. I want to see Osh I, I know Oshima do well. Like they are really really hoping that uh, she will become the next woman to clear stage one, and I want to see it happen. I think it'll be great to see. Uh, you know, more, more female finishers, the better. Um, in addition, uh, one of the things I want to talk about is, uh, the Bandai stuff. Um, can, can Bandai pick a, like a, a younger representative for that, for, for their, for Sasuke? You know, just, just a thought. Um, one other thing uh, that I want to mention is that, uh, hey, they actually featured uh, Shinsuke Nagasaki a little bit. Gave it a little bit of profile piece. Remember, there was a lot of uh, flashback uh, stuff as well. And so they really kind of, they showed some flashbacks from Sasuke 17 when he made the finals. Um, you know, he's been, uh, unfortunately, the past couple of tournaments, he's been uh, failing stage one. You know, whether it was uh, the Fishbone or uh, the Dragon Glider. You know, I I, I want to see the old Nagasaki back, you know? The one who does well. I think that'd be cool. Um, I'd be interested to see how Ryo Matachi does. I know he did well last season, uh, last tournament, but it's like so many times it feels like Ryo has stopped trying. And I hope we get the good Ryo and not the bad Ryo, you know? And Kano. Like, I, I don't know where, I don't know how, how I feel about Kano's performance lately. Uh, hopefully he does well. Kano is like... I feel like it's a bit of a wild card also. Um, with that said, I don't know if there's really anything else that's worth saying in this preview. Um, the last thing that I'll say is that I hope the editing is good. You know, I can imagine um, editing an entire Sasuke uh, is always uh, difficult. Um, but yeah, it's going to air tomorrow, um, the 29th. In Japan, I uh, I don't know what I think it's like 7 p.m. Japan time, which is 5 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. So uh, adjust accordingly if you're not uh, from the East Coast like me, uh, or watch it later. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna end up watching it later because um, of work, but it'll be interesting to see. Uh, what happens in this tournament? Um, I think I think we're going to get a good amount of clears in stage one. I think this is going to be. I I, I get the feeling that they want to end 2020 with a happy note, and that happy note being Sasuke, uh, Sasuke victory, Sasuke feel good, Sasuke. You know, if there's a total victory, I think that would be the perfect way to end this year uh, for the Ninja Warrior community. Uh, but other than that, uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But, hey, let me know if you're excited about Sasuke. I know I am. And thank you all very much for watching. Have a good rest of the year, and I'll see you probably in 2021 for my Sasuke 38 review. Don't worry, it won't take as long as it did last time to review this, this special. Ooh, that was... A mess.